Aquarius, your weekly love tarot reading begins with a Knight of Pentacles, a Ten of Swords, Strength card, and the Chariot. Your person is coming in with a Nine of Wands, Five of Pentacles, Queen of Wands, and the Emperor. At the bottom of this deck, you have Two of Pentacles. So juggling a lot juggling a lot of tasks and responsibilities, et cetera, et cetera. We're going to come back to that two of pentacles energy right away. Let's get into it. Aquarius, you're coming in with nine of pentacles, nine of wands. So even more work, continuing to follow a particular goal that you have. These energies seem to be and feel very much like they're separate from the relationship that you have here, this connection. You're just generally busy right now and your person is struggling. Your person is coming in with a little bit of a struggle this week, a little bit of a feeling like they're on their own as if, you know, nobody's there to help them sort of thing. We're going to see what that's all about. Let's go ahead and get some clarifiers. It seems to be that... They may have been dealing with some issues at work or some issues with like interpersonal relationships that have just really gotten on top of them. Um, let's go ahead and pull your clarifier. Devil energy for you and two of cups for them. Wow. So Aquarius for them, yeah, it feels like they're really going through a lot of issues with work and you're there to support them. You know, they're going through a transitional stage where they're maturing. They may have been dealing with some bullying at work or they may have been dealing with a lot of arguments and fighting at work, but they're coming to the end of that stage. They're kind of struggling through this last little phase. You're coming in with devil energy. Interestingly enough, you're bringing some passion and fire and excitement here. I think your person may have been very dogged down with work and responsibilities and you're trying to bring a little bit more fire here something you know a little bit more play it's not full shadow devil energy but it's just playful devil energy how do you see each other well here you see them ten of swords and they see you as a five of pentacles interestingly enough you see that they're going through this stage this completion stage this final stage of sort of coming out of strife and coming out of a phase in their life where they're, everything is just upsetting them and everything is just kind of like, you know, hitting their ego really hard. They're just maturing out of that and they're done with that. They see you as five of pentacles. So interestingly enough, they see you also very much rebuilding yourself as well. So this is a nice love connection between two people who are both kind of rebuilding themselves after difficult periods, periods of being ostracized, being kind of on your own, having to deal with things on your own, not really having a lot of support. And you're both bringing something to the table here. <clears throat> I think, you know, you are bringing most of it, though, Aquarius. You're bringing a lot of support to them. They, in turn, are bringing support to you, too, in terms of all of the hard work that you're doing. Two of Swords for you and Page of Pentacles for them. So there is a decision coming in for you. And again... This may be a decision that has to do with work. So the next few weeks for you in this love connection, I'm going to say it's just really consumed with your own paths. If there are any arguments along the way or if there are any disagreements, just remember that those are really just a, a byproduct of you and your person being a little bit stressed out right now. You're both going through a real growth period. But a decision comes in that you have to make. Your person, Page of Pentacles, they come in <clears throat> With a feeling of finally having arrived, I feel like over the next couple of weeks, which is the time for this reading, your person is going to really push through the struggle that they're having and they're going to come through to the other side and find themselves in a space where they can finally progress. How do you see your roles in this relationship? Well, for you, strength and for them, queen of wands, you're both like, you know, resonating with really strong, mature energy. You know, you're being strong in terms of, you know, not letting your emotions run away with you. And your person is really sort of incorporating a lot of wisdom that they have recently gleaned. I'm going to say from all of their hard work. So this is a mutual appreciation sort of going on here. And you're both, you know, 
really moving forward. Five of Cups, wow, a loss, and Six of Swords. I think the decision on your part may have something to do with a personal relationship for you too. It almost feels as though the two of you, I don't believe the two of you are sort of moving away from each other. I don't feel a breakup here because of the energies that you're presenting with how you see each other and your roles in a relationship, this feels very much like you are having to make a decision about a close friend or a close relationship to you. And ultimately, it's quite sad. The relationship is lost. And they, in turn, also coming out of this difficult stage, turn their back on some difficult times, difficult connections with people, also friendships, colleagues, etc. And they find themselves moving to calmer shores as well. Both of you are tidying up sort of your extraneous relationships with people and cutting out the toxic ones. How do you come in as possible outcomes? Well, Aquarius, you come in with chariot energy, your person with emperor. So you both really achieve a sense of dominance, authority. For you, you are moving forward, you know, with the next phase of your ultimate goal here. Having cut away difficult situations, painful situations, same thing for your person. Having dealt with these difficult situations, which I believe are on the work front, they've established their dominance with that emperor energy. This is like power couple energy, man, and you guys are resonating hard with it. Let me pull out your oracles. Yeah, it's really, really nice, strong energy. Spirit of the scales, spirit of the witch, and spirit of alchemy. So yeah, justice and balance coming in, feeling that strong magic, psychic energy, sorcery energy coming in, you know, and spirit of alchemy manifesting. Very much you and your person are in that flow of manifesting, you know, your desired outcomes separately in your own separate lives. But I do feel like this is a very strong and stable, connected relationship. You both provide a source of comfort, and a source of strength to each other. And you really come out over this difficult, yes, it's a difficult period. You're going through some stuff. But in but between the two of you, you couldn't be any stronger. And you come out of this resonating very highly. Look at this beautiful elephant energy. The elephant is the animal spirit for overcoming obstacles. He is the destroyer of obstacles. The elephant brings abundance and brings wealth and luck and fortune, but through the sheer hard determination of just bulldozing over anything that is in their way. This is really nice, strong energy that's coming in here. Wisdom, not just, I say bulldozing, but in a wise with wisdom. Lizard energy, also fire energy. We're talking about being hypersensitive here, hyper aware, perhaps too hypersensitive and aware. Sometimes the lizard can really tire itself out thinking that something is there that isn't there. So do take care. You know, you and your person in this love connection are really going through some heavy you know, I want to say emotional, energetic times dealing with having to sort of work through strife in your separate lives. Why is this a love connection reading? Because the both of you are together. And I believe that this reading is a message to remind you that you are each other's biggest strength. And you are both going to help each other through this, despite any kind of little arguments, perhaps a little bits along the way that may happen as a natural result of what you're going through, more than anything, you're going to, both of you are going to come out stronger individually and as a couple. All right, Aquarius, this is your weekly love tarot reading. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please go ahead and hit the like button, perhaps subscribe to my channel, and I'm going to leave it at that. I wish you and your cross watchers love, life, and happiness, and I hope to see you guys next Tuesday on my channel, Bow and Arrow Tarot, for your weekly love tarot reading. Bye-bye now.